In this session we're going to look at formatting currency in Google Sheets. Currently I have some prices listed and what I'd like to do is turn these into dollar signs because Excel and Google Sheets will not work with decimal points like 0 .00 without actually formatting it to currency. In Google Sheets we can actually use the currency format. Now you notice that this is in pounds and we're in Australia and we need to use Australian dollars. The default may not be to your country of origin, so what you need to do is go into File, go down to Spreadsheet Settings, and then look at the currency or the, the area which you're working in. So I need to change from United Kingdom back to Australia, and also I need to head down to the Display Language and click on United Kingdom and actually add Australia to this language. So I want to add another language, or we'll just click English and then Australia, Click on OK and now what I want to do is move that up the list to make that the default. Once you've done that you can head back and close the browsers. So now I can actually go save settings, refresh the page and you notice that we now have a dollar sign rather than a pound sign as our currency. So when I highlight the spreadsheet and use the dollar symbol they now turn into Australian dollars. Now from here I can actually then apply some formulas so if I put an espresso and I want two of those, I want one cappuccino, five flat whites, eight lattes and two iced coffees. We can then apply formula equals the quantity times the price. Now the good thing about using the currency format, it actually automatically picks up that you're using a currency format here. Even though it still shows 4.4, there is an overlay that says this is currency. So when I use the formula here, it knows the result of this calculation is also going to be currency. And then I can copy those down. And then if I want total orders, I can then go equal the sum, bracket, and mark out the range. Close the bracket and press enter and it tells me the total order cost of these coffees. So we can use currency to our advantage and we can also change the area if it's not set up correctly. So I hope you found this tutorial useful in changing the country and also the currency type that you're working with.